tight. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Ross Patterson Revolution. Brought to you by BlackRifleCoffee.com. I am bundled up in my Black Rifle Coffee hoodie. It's cold. It is, what, Antarctica? They said it's colder than Antarctica in Siberia right now in Chicago. (laughs) I know we talked about this on yesterday's show, but holy shit. They're worried about taking your dog outside for a walk that their faces are going to freeze off their bodies. Yeah, they were like, don't take deep breaths. Yeah, I told you. Or talk. Yeah. Don't do it. When you're outside. Imagine taking your little pup out and his head freezes off his body and just rolls down the street. Sure. What do you do? Well, what are you doing? (laughs) What are you, A, what are you doing? The dogs can't go inside the house is the problem. So, you know, you got to walk. You got to walk Buster at some point. You can let him out. Yeah. Yeah. You let him out and it'll be frozen in fear for the rest of his life. Uh, Uh, He's running. Uh, Yeah. Midstream, mm -hmm. his urine freezes. Mm -hmm. That's what's happening. Al Gore can take his global warming and stuff it up his dick hole. Come on, Al. We're not. I know. I know. (laughs) Okay. What's the what's the deal? I mean, how do we get this cold? You know, how do we get there in America? I love it, though. I do. Either way, I'm bundled up. I get a nice uh, BRCC hoodie on. I got I got my old school Falcons hat on today. I love that. hat. Yeah. So do I. If you're not if you're not watching the. Video show, subscribe on YouTube and iTunes. We're doing it. We're doing it right, doing it tight, doing it all night on there. I want to. I want to open with this. The the these Peloton the memes that have been going around have made me laugh to the nth of the earth. What's happening? Oh God! It's you know ev- I it, want one. I know you do, and so does every fucking white white woman in America. I, I like I've never heard one black lady say, "Yeah, you know what I want is a fucking Peloton." Sure, it's only white ladies. So this guy, I'm going to give credit where, where this this thread came from because it exploded yesterday. Is his? It's at Clue Haywood on uh, Twitter. Um, <laughs> what up, Clue? <laughs> what he did was he took the pictures from the commercials where all of this the Pelotons are shown. And then he was just like, he started memeing all of them. And they were so good. Because we've all seen this commercial. If you don't know what a Peloton is, it's that exercise bike where it's got a TV screen on it. And you can what learn from teachers. and, and they, Yeah, you drop in on live classes. So yeah. anyone that does like has to run to the gym to get, it, get to the spin class, you don't have to do that. You could do it in your house. In your, in your house. <laughs> in your house. So... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read these off for you because I died laughing last night. Like, I was crying because I go to sleep late. I'm usually up working late, and then I'll, I'll crawl into bed with you. Sure. Super late at night. And uh, I usually, like, I, I like to read the news before I go to sleep for, like, 15, 20 minutes, you know, and then I'll, I'll go to sleep. This one popped up on my feed, and I tears because a bunch of people tagged me, and they were like, this is something you would do. And I was like, oh, fuck, it is. It is. So there was a picture of the, the Peloton, you know, that, that classic Peloton commercial. The mm-hmm. bike is resting oh, it gets in the living room. Oh, it so pumped. Yeah. And it says, the first one is, love putting my Peloton bike in the most striking area of my ultra modern $3 million house. True. True. Well, like when you see the commercial, you're like, oh, yeah. Fuck, man. Do you have to be really rich to own this thing? Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, the next one says, I had my carpenter build a $9,000 finished wood riser for my Peloton bike and my glass enclosed Zen garden slash home gym. I know. He's right. When, I, when you watch the fucking commercials, you're like, where it's the fuck are these? aspirational, you know? <laughs> whole Foods has made a whole business model based on aspirational shopping. I know, shopping. and this is what this is. The next one, I put my Peloton bike in the center of my panoramic living room window in my new york penthouse i know i and i as soon as he wrote it and and, and he shows the he shows the pic from the commercial that's all i kept thinking was fuck man how much is that house how much is that house we watched that show uh one on netflix 
You. You, that's it. Mm-hmm. Whatever, man. Fuck you. It's, it's one word. Sure. Yeah. There's um, a lot of words in the world. You a know a, what a I lot mean? of people yeah. had hit us up and said, hey, man, you got to watch this. So we watched the first episode and I, and I enjoyed it. We're probably going to finish it. Yeah. All I keep thinking, though, is the same thing as this, this Peloton thing. This girl is so poor the whole time. She's living in the most expensive brownstone that you could possibly rent in New York City. So nice. Ground floor. Yeah. There's got to be something else to this, I hope. But episode one, she talks we'll about how poor see. she is over and over and over again. How she she can't afford it. It's like, what? What yeah. are you doing here? No, I don't like. I don't like that. They like to do that a lot in New York. Really, show me what it really looks like to be poor in New York. Yeah, please. yeah, exactly, exactly. Uh, the next one is when we visited my parents' home for Christmas. I had to put my Peloton bike right in the middle of the living room. They didn't even have a home gym or a conservatory or anything. <laughs> Uh, mom and dad. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I know it is. It is like that, but it works. It's effective. <laughs> Could you go, you know, you don't have that life. You know, your Peloton is not going to be at that window looking over the city, but for some reason in your mind, you go, yes, I can have that life. As long as I get the Peloton. Oh, it's so good. It will lead me to all those different things. This next one. I took my Peloton bike to Europe and used it on the balcony of our $2,000 a night Airbnb. And honestly, I felt like I was flying over London. You should try it. Yeah, exactly. You really should. That's what it feels like. You really should try it. $15 Fifteen to two thousand dollars. Yeah, to tell forty dollars a month. Tell the audience that's how much it is. Yeah, so it's okay. about fifteen hundred to two thousand, I think, and then you pay monthly for the classes that you're watching on your TV. So that's forty dollars a month on top <laughs> of the fifteen to two thousand dollars. Listen, <laughs> it's goopy. It's a goopy. It's a it's a Gwyneth Paltrow luxury. It's, a, it's is what an, it is. again, it's aspirational. It's the kind of thing where, you know, as a mom, you're sitting there like, yes, that's what I want. <laughs> and you see this single, single gal living in the city, right? With this like, you know, inspir- like workout music, great workout music, one life, one life. Yeah. You only got one life, right? Yep. I know. And I ruined it. Yeah, you ruined it. You because ruined I could have had the Peloton life. <laughs> and I decided, you know, not to do that. No, you didn't. Uh, the next one's awesome, though. Sometimes I'll move my Peloton bike into our gallery so I can spend time with my half-gay husband while he reads Architectural Digest wearing combat boots. I mean, it's so specific. That's what I loved about this whole thread last night, yeah. that I just could not stop reading. It is. I hate that you point it out, though. Because, Why? Because I was Why? thinking that. You I, know what I mean? I never once, like... I, I wasn't making fun of it in my mind. You know what I mean? When I saw those commercials, it was like, yep. Yeah. That's me. Yeah. And now that the memes are, now that I'm hearing these memes, I'm feeling foolish. It's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's one of those. like that. Here's the thing. It's, it's recognizing who you are, where you came from. Yeah. And then what, what you're doing in the moment. For example, uh, last week I was talking about that castle I went to, right? Yes. As fun and hilarious as that was, I would never buy something like that in real life. I don't give a fuck how rich I was. No. I I just, you can't have any form of real life with a family or kids in a, in a place that big where you would never see them. You would never go to half the rooms, all that other shit. Mm -hmm. It's just, it's a waste. It's a waste of space. Is it beautiful to visit? Absolutely. Right. But I would never buy shit like that. And I'm okay with making fun of it on the show. Mm -hmm. This Peloton shit is the same way where I'm like, man. We we had chatted about this off air. Yeah. Because you were like, man, all these all these women are getting Peloton bikes. Like, yeah. it's the hottest thing on the planet right now. And I was like, how much is it? 15 to 2 grand. I kind of like whispered. I whispered two it. Grand. Yeah. I was all, no, you don't. Yeah, yeah, And, and then like, 40 bucks a month. And I was like, what? Really, yeah. Yeah. And $40 <laughs> a month on top of it? Like, what the fuck? You get fuck? a free month. Oh, God. <laughs> fuck me, man. At the end of the first year, you're looking at... 2008 I know you know listen fucking $2,500 for that and the classes which you'll never use and I like you'll to never cross- use it no one works out in their house unless you're super rich and you have your own like mega home gym like Mark Wahlberg or something like that right 
you'll never fucking use it. Like if it's in your, you know, right. in the playroom with your kids, right. you're not going to get on that goddamn no. thing. Your kids are playing. What are you going to no. work out for an hour in front of them? Hang on. Mommy's got one more session with Johan, right. the Swedish teacher in fucking, you know, the Netherlands who's yeah. vacationing there. Like, come on, man. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Sure. I'd like to see <laughs> if I would. No, I'm joking. I wouldn't. Yeah, I wouldn't. Treadmills always gather dust and all that shit. And, all of it, them. and it will all go. And I like to cross train. So it's like, I, you're not just going to use the bike. You have to lift. You have to, like, I like to bike, right. lift, and run. So it's like, you're, you're still going to have to have a gym membership or a home gym. Or you're still going to need to have someone watch your kids while you go for a run or whatever it may be. Yeah. So, um, it, it, gosh, it seems so great, though, when, they, when those commercials come on. You go, yeah, that's all I need. Man. That's the answer to everything. That's the answer. <laughs> um, we do have a couple in the neighborhood that are doing like a 40-day challenge with it. So they got the... With the Peloton. It's the Nordic track, but really everyone has the same. Okay. You know, it's a, not a knockoff. It's just a different brand, basically. Sure. And so they're doing it every day for 40 days. We'll see. Maybe, we'll, maybe I'll check back in with them. Huh. But, huh. Um, what are they going to do with it after 40 days? No, they're just doing like seeing if it really makes, you know, a difference on their body, how much they weight they lose. Oh, I didn't know if they were going to send it back after 40 days. I think you probably could, but I think no, you can. no, yeah. they're, they're just going to, All right. I think that's how they, maybe, <laughs> maybe you can send it back after 30, but they like make you do a 40 day challenge. You know, they do a 40 day challenge. Yeah. 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 They're like, Hey, try the 40 day challenge. You can uh-huh. take it back in 30 days you can if you want. take it back in 30, but you really need that you 40 days. You need that extra 10 so that it that the contract is null. Yeah, we got a guy named Sawbone who's going to, you know, yeah. take you up the mountains in the Swiss Alps. Look, it's sweet. I mean, I, I saw her. It's sweet. It's a, it's a it TV on a bike. Ol- it wouldn't be the only thing that I you would need. use. Yeah. Yeah. It's more than a TV on a bike. I mean, calm down. <laughs> but it's, I mean, you know, there's classes. Yeah, there's classes, but you don't get like ESPN or anything else, right? It's just these classes you just plug in and, you know. Yeah, and it, and you, it walks you through like the spin class. Ugh. You've never done spin? No. Okay. No, I've never done spin. Sure. Come on, man. Hmm. It's a thing. Guys are doing it now. Yeah. Well, they're also sucking each other's dicks, you know? Hey, watch That's it. That's what guys are doing now. Watch it. Friend of the show, Brendan Schaub. Sucking Schaub. each other's dicks. Yeah, but I've told, I, I told Brendan, I was like, man. You have gay like tendencies, like a like very femme. Yeah, he knows that. I think. Yeah, he knows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He dresses nice. He ca- he cares about like you know yeah, he, sneakers he go- and shit like that. That's not a that's not a. He'll probably like ask ask your woman how how gay I fucking am. Exactly, <laughs> uh, and that's the thing about Brendan. Listen. But there's very few men that can get away with that it's in true. that world. He's it's one of true. them. True. Yeah. He's one of them. Yeah. And that's fine. But it takes a certain type of dude where you're like, oh, to get right. on the Peloton. Yeah, and like, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm not going to. I'm it. not going to challenge the fucking former UFC fighter, sure. you know, about his Peloton use right. at all. Right. Not Don't only that, but it. he he look, he's rich enough that 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 is in his house. So you know, it isn't. It's just part of his workout. Yeah. right? So you can, if you're rich, he's doing that's that in his own thing. time. You know, yeah. That's the thing you have to realize about this Peloton, like. It is for the super rich. And that's why they're showing the one percent is what they're saying. Yes, yeah. like it yeah. that's why they're showing these different places. They don't ever show it in a normal house with like a mom with no, kids. No, no, no. It's all like uber rich people that kind of have it in the corner and use it when they can't quite get to their super expensive gym. They don't show it in the real New York, where it's like a six no. story walk up studio no apartment. No air conditioner. Yeah, that's right They're in the middle of your sweating, studio apartment. Dying, yeah. Fainting. You just folded up your bed back into your couch in your studio apartment. Your Peloton yep. is sitting right in front of you. You wake up in the middle of the night and just like bang your head against the pil- Peloton. Yeah. It's dark and yeah. you're trying to get to the bathroom. Oof. And you live in a closet. Yeah. No. That don't. Hashtag real life. Yeah. Uh, the Peloton. But that's, that's the big thing, man. Everybody, like, I feel like every, everybody gets on board with these things, like, once every three or four years where it's yeah. some new Bad. thing. And you're yeah. like, all right, cool. Yeah. I don't know how long that's going to last. Yeah. I mean, look, if you're rich, it'll last forever, obviously. But, sure. Um, other, like, uh, normal, normal folk, no way. 
No fucking way. Even the $40 classes is more expensive than going a gym, gym. membership for a whole month at a lot right. of places. I mean, that's, so. that's crazy talk. James, that's crazy talk. Yeah, I know. It's, it's crazy. I don't want one. It's oh, man, you stupid. do. Stupid. Who would? You do. Who would? Two. I give you the over under of two. You'd use it twice and then boom. That would be it. Um, cause you can crank it up whenever, you know, I feel like if you, if you had a watch, right. Mm-hmm. That was connected to your arm from the Peloton mm-hmm. and it shocked you like, Hey man, your class is in two hours. And it just kept shocking your arm yeah, over like and over that. again. And then it's like, Oh fuck. I gotta go work out in the Peloton. I yeah, gotta I like go work that. out in the Peloton. You know, they know where yeah, you are. Like I like a, that. Like a drone sitch. Sure. Maybe they send a drone over the house, try to figure out where you are, send it around to all the windows, go to the garage. Work out on the Peloton. You're about to train in Europe with someone. Here's where it gets appealing. When I am packing up the two kids. Sure. Trying to get to my spin class. Yeah. That fills up super quick. Yeah. So I have to get there. Throw them in the daycare. Yeah. Run up to the spin class. About 20, 25 minutes in, uh, a lady from the daycare comes into the class holding a sign with your children's name on it saying poopy diaper and the you don't see it because it's coming up behind the class you don't see it and so the instructor on the mic has to at jagger's mother poopy diaper and i have to like slink away and that's when the peloton really appeals to me right sure sure um <laughs> because that's what we have to deal with. And moms that go to the gym, you know, that's true. Yeah. Oh, um, that's hilarious. I Look, I get it. I'm just saying you have to be rich and have the time. You know what I'm saying? Right. Or actually not. You know, if you're rich, you don't have to have the time. You can just keep it there. And then it's like, eh, you want to do it once a month, whatever. Yeah. You know? And I like to go to spin in full biking gear, helmet and everything. Just in case you fall off. Yeah, just to the spin class, and I like to. You're real worried about CTE. Yeah, I have a bell. Yeah, and I'm so the person in front of me. I'm always, you know, fake passing them. Sure, <laughs> you know what I mean, on the left, and I'm just like. You always do a lot of. Full, you, you also do a lot of hand signals in there. Hand signals, full aerodynamic um, helmet. Yeah, all sports up, you know. I think you you wear uh, all of Lance Arch mm-hmm, Lance Armstrong's mm-hmm. gear from the USPS mm-hmm. uh 2008 uh, Tour de France ride. The long helmet. Yeah, yeah, with the, the, the really long helmet. <laughs> so it's like the point on the back. Yeah. yeah. So it's just right in somebody's face whoever's behind you. Yeah. yeah. I wish someone would do that. I think I I I wanted someone if if anyone had the guts to do that in a spin <laughs> spin class and send me either a picture or video. <laughs> I would love you forever and oh, have to have you on the show. Be on great. the left. On the left. On the fucking You'd left. You'd be kicked out immediately, but it would be fun for a second. That's funny. Who, but, are, who are the instructors? Are they just full-time? Yeah, so there is a Peloton studio. I forget where it is, but okay. there's a place you can actually go to the actual gym if you ever want to. I think Brendan like traveled there or something and went and did like a real class right. that he had always watched on the Peloton. So that's possible. All right. Um, so it is live classes. It's not like a video that plays over and over again. Okay. It's different every time. Look. For the rich. Yeah. It's really great. For sure. And um, it's just not going to work out for us. Uh. And that's okay. <laughs> Jagger's mom? Poopy, Poopy diaper? diaper? Uh, That's me. Leave the class. Yeah. Yep, throwing yep, up a deuce. Yep. yep, yep throwing yep. up a deuce. Man, we got some sponsors. We got a big show. We got some sponsors to pay for this whole shit to be on the air. I, I'm sorry I went off on the Peloton rant for this long. I didn't. I didn't, was not expecting that whatsoever. Oh, everybody knows. Yeah. Well, they know now. They know now. Go to blackriflecoffee.com before you get on that Peloton. Sip it and, and rip it, you know? Then like drinking two large mugs of coffee and then hopping on a Peloton and then just seeing how long you can hold it in. Yeah. Know? Yeah. <laughs> Jagger's mom? Nope. No. It's 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 me. It's me. It's me. It's me. It's me. And I'm not wearing a diaper. And I, I've got poopy bike shorts. Yeah. Poopy bike shorts. Uh third row from the left on the in the back. Um black rifle coffee, the whoobies are selling really goddamn fast. I know I've been saying this the last two episodes. They're fucking crushing it there. 
Um, and I, I did I did hear a rumor that may or may not have been confirmed that they're doing Whoopi hoodies. Which, if that's the case, my God, man. I mean, that's going to change the game. Just uh-huh. change the fucking game. And I, I, I heard it is a real thing. Uh-huh. So, we'll see. Whenever it comes out, you're going to need to be in the Coffee Club of the Month program to get that email. Because they're it's, it's going to go out to the, those customers first. So, join the Coffee Club of the Month program. Uh, coffee gets shipped to your house same date of every single month. They got bags. They got K-cups. The whole shit. Go to BlackRifleCoffee.com. Use the one-time promo code REVOLUTION for 20% off. Next up, we've got GhostBed.com forward slash Drinking Bros. Got a bunch of messages um, after yesterday's show about the the first responders and uh, military getting fifteen an extra 15% off the mattresses. Every, a lot of people went to the site and they were like, holy shit, I can't believe this is real. I can't either, man. Because that's a big savings. When I ran through the numbers, I mean, that's... It's going to knock off an extra $200 off the bed. Like, yeah. It's incredible what they did, man. I, I, look, we, we really do love these mattresses. We have them in fucking every room we have. And I was talking to Dan last night, and he's got them as well. And it was just like, dude, who else is doing this? I don't know anybody that's no. doing that. And I don't know why more people don't. Uh, let's, let's help the people who actually need the mattresses the most. People who are on their feet all day protecting us. Uh, so go to go to ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. I know it's a big ticket purchase, but they got a 36 month no interest pay as you go program. So, you know, you can take your time with it. And uh, I love those guys, man. That was a huge deal. I couldn't believe they did it, um, but super stoked about it. But you can only get it at ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. Pillows, mattresses, adjustable bases. All of that is included in those deals. So hop on it. And do it. And you can fuck tough. You can fuck tough on one of those mattresses. I got to record that song now after I, after I sang that the other day. Have fun. Everybody's tagging my shit. Hashtag fuck tough. Yeah. You can hold my hand, baby. Fuck tough. Turn around. Do some butt stuff. Uh, next up we got... A little bit of StrikeForceEnergy.com. Boom, 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 shabloinker. I'll tell you what, man. If you're hopping on that Peloton training with somebody around the world, put some Strike Force in that gullet. That'll keep you going for an hour. Is it an hour long class? I don't know. There's probably a, there's a 45 an hour. Whatever it is. Half an hour. Throw, there's all different. Throw some Strike Force in that gullet. Get it going. That's, that's my, whole, it's my whole afternoon drink, man. Uh, no carbs, no sugars, lemon, orange, a ridge, make America grape again. They get a 10 pack of 40 pack in a 750 milliliter bottle that gets you hard and keeps you wet. Nope. Okay. Uh, strike force energy. You can kick the can. It's a tasty, tiny little tin pouch that rips open and squeezes into any liquid available. Last longer than five hour energy. Go to StrikeForceEnergy.com. They also have a subscription month, which we have, obviously. I feel like we have a subscription to everything now. You Ty- have to. Type in the promo code REVOLUTION for 20% off. That's good all the time, and they ship everywhere around the entire world. Huge fan of those guys. Last but not least, StraightRazors.com. Ooh, that's a clean cut. Smooth. Are you right, kids? There it is. There it is, James. I was waiting for it. Do you like it? Do you like it? Oh, excuse me, boy. But <laughs> do you like it? Very ASMR, right? What's ASMR? You don't know about ASMR? No, what is it? So it's this thing. It's all the craze. And it's just people whispering or eating what? into microphones. You're kidding. Yes, and it's supposed to tingle your brain. You're joking. I'm not joking. That's a real thing? It's a real thing. You'll see it on um, a Super Bowl commercial. Uh, what's her name? Lisa Bonet's daughter does this ASMR thing with a beer. Uh-huh. It's crazy. Really? Yeah. All right. People do it for meditation or I don't know. Now you're going to have to look up all the ASMR videos. Oh, boy. Just look at one. All right. Um, see how I you understand feel about the, the calming and soothness soothness of it soothness yeah and so they're really powerful mics and there's like two or three and you like 
you listen in headphones, it's supposed to tingle your brain, like hearing like scratching on the thing. Or really? Like eating, drinking. I hate, I hate you listening not to like people that. eat there's, and drink. I can't stand there's, it. There's um, some of that. Some is like tapping on glasses, tapping on feathers, all this like weird shit. ASMR, dude. Yeah. Get into it. Can't do it. Okay. So you don't have to. Ah, uh, yeah, it's not my world. I'm sure. not. I'm not. Getting, I'm not going down that fucking rabbit hole. Last you, thing I need is, is is an extra weird thing popping around my brain. We'll you just know? check it out because it's pretty big. Ah. So just give it a look see. So you're yeah. in the know. I'll give it a hearsy. How about that? There you go. Uh, why don't you give it a feelsies over at straightrazors.com? Put a little razor on that face of yours. You're disgusting. You're a dirty little fuck. You're a monkey boy. Shave. Is that ASMR? Is that me doing that right? No. No, not at all. Okay. No, great. (laughs) Shave, you little fuck boy. Yeah, shave for me. You have to whisper. Shave for me, you fucker. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Shave for me, you motherfucker. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, go underneath the balls. Go underneath the fucking balls. Nope. Yeah, no. Shave for me, you fucker. That's not it. You fucker. You'll see. Watch the video. Mm I'm drinking. That's just for the audio show. If you're watching the video show, though, Jesus, I, I look really weird doing that. Yeah. Straightrazors.com. You won't look weird at all if you uh, use the proper hygiene products that they offer. Aftershave, cologne, you name it. Mustache wax, beard oils, shampoos, conditioners. Straightrazors.com. Making the finest shaving kits on the planet. Worried about using a straight razor? They get a safety razor. Takes about a day and a half off your shaving, which is nice. Go to straightrazors.com. Use the promo code REVOLUTION for 20% off. And as always, we get it at night. She cries while he rides his steed. When darkness falls, he doesn't catch it. Uh, hardback, paperback, everywhere. They're available everywhere. The audiobooks. Everybody's buying the fucking audiobooks, man. They're on fire. Uh, highest rated book on Audible still, man. We're doing it, doing it, doing it. I can't write these things fast enough. Everybody's like, dude, when's the third one coming out? And probably next year. So we'll 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 say next year right now. Okay. What do you why why do you not sound confident? I'm it's not that I'm not confident. It's a big it's an it's an undertaking. I'm an amazing human. I can get it done. For the family. Yeah. Uh what? No. Huh? Nah, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine, James. Fine. I want to get into the, the top story of the day, which it's strange because it got buried really, really quickly. And I don't know why, and I don't know what forces were at work, but it happened to me. It actually happened to me, and I want to. I want to bring it up because I think I handled the situation appropriately. I recognize what was going on, and I'm curious though what you would do or others would do. So Apple is having problems with FaceTime. There is a bug and a glitch uh, in FaceTime, and when you FaceTime somebody while it's ringing, let's say you don't want to answer it, say so you mm-hmm. don't want to pick it up. Mm-hmm. You can hear the other side, what they're doing and or saying as they look at the phone. So if somebody FaceTimes you, ding, 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 you hold on the group. Yeah. Not on the group. Oh, just one on one human. Oh, okay. And you, and you pick it up and let's say you're, you're looking at it and you're like, fuck man. And this, this has happened to me. I've done it to somebody. Um, and, and vice versa. Somebody else has done it to me where I, so I, I did this the other day and I was like, the FaceTime was ringing. I saw their face pop up, you know, how you always see that. Mm -hmm. And I was like, fuck me, man. I don't want to talk to this fucking dude. Why are you fucking FaceTiming me right now? Um, I didn't know that there was this glitch, this bug. Mm -hmm. And I got a, it wasn't somebody that was super close to me. And I got a fucking, you know, message later that just said, hey, man, I was out with, you know, people. And I just wanted to say hi and some friends and all that other shit. And I was just Mm -hmm. like, all right, fuck. I'm assuming he heard, you know? Right. Uh, the, the, the way that it happened to me was it was a family member. And I, they, I had heard them talking about me. And it was some awful shit. And I just uh, let it go. I just said, all right, cool. Because they weren't meaning to do it, you know? They were probably frustrated that I wasn't picking up or whatever. Mm-hmm. And... I know that there is things in private that are supposed to be said in your own home. You're expecting to have privacy on certain things. Whatever they were going through that day, I let it go. 
And I just said, I, I don't care. Talk to them the next day. No big deal. Mm-hmm. What, what would you have done if that was a friend or a family member or, or something like that? Because by the way, the first one was an actual, the, the first ones were friends. I'm friends with, with the, these people, you know, second ones were family. And like, I didn't know there was this glitch in, until today. Mm-hmm. And it popped up this morning uh, in the news. And then it's Apple, only Apple products, uh, iPhones. And it immediately got wiped. And I, I, I have to think because Apple has spent so much time and energy and money into these campaigns of like, you need your privacy and protect your privacy. And Apple does that at all costs. No, they don't. And it's kind of scary because you can FaceTime anyone. And mm-hmm. then if that glitch is there, man, you're going to find out at least what the first 20 seconds are of somebody else's life or conversation. Or if you're fucking like, what if, what if, what if we were fucking? And then it's right. just like, cool. Your friends are just hearing you bone for 20 seconds before that fourth ring and goes to voicemail. Yeah. That FaceTime is a long time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, brrr. Yeah, it's like yeah. fucking 30 yeah. seconds. We were just like, Jesus Christ, man. What would you have done in that situation? Because this happened to me, and I didn't know what was going on until this dropped this morning, this story. What would I have done if I heard somebody talking about me? Yes. How would you feel? Let's say it was a close friend. Oh, I'd friend. feel horrible because I just already feel like everybody hates me. <laughs> like, I'm always the person that's like, did I, if someone like doesn't answer right away or something like this, I've made them mad and I go through, what have I done? What did I do? What could they possibly mad? Why were they mad? Right. Something to do with my childhood. But um, I would avoid confrontation at all costs. So I would just uh, internalize it. Okay. And, and could you I still. I would never be like, hey, bro, I be heard friends? you. Well, here's the thing. Could you still be friends with them and all that other shit? I don't know if we'd be as close depending on who it was, you know? Okay. Yeah, you definitely, um, that's with anything, right? You, you get shown a little piece of something like someone being dishonest or somebody, you hear someone talking shit about that they talk shit about you or something and it chips away at whatever you guys had family or friendship wise. I chalked, so that I, would I, just I, be a little chip. Here's here's what I thought about when when and both times this happened, right? And this was in probably two weeks of each other. Mm-hmm. In both instances, I, clearly the people had called me. They were family and friends, and I, I didn't want to talk. Mm-hmm. And because uh, we were busy, like I, right? It, you know, I, look, FaceTime. I think is a. Uh, it's already a little bit of an intrusion. No yeah, one's, yeah. I, I'm no not, one's I'm not a ready fan of it. No. for a spontaneous FaceTime. FaceTime. Yeah. So it's like showing if, up at somebody's house to me unannounced. Yes. If you're, you're like, ready oh. for it and you're like, hey, let's FaceTime. You've gotten your makeup, you da da da, whatever. You're ready. You have time. Let's FaceTime. But there, no one is ever cool with the spontaneous FaceTime. I'm not, but a lot, a lot of my friends are, and I'm yeah, like, they like it. yeah, cause you're here, you know, when the phone's ringing or I'm in the shower or whatever, and you usually answer it and you're like, Hey, Jared, you fuck. Hey, you fucking loser. Stop FaceTiming Your me. Your boyfriend's in the shower washing up for you. Cause no matter what, whoever FaceTimes me, I don't know what or why they're doing it. So I always feel like, Oh shit, man. I gotta look nice or be in some place, you know, like uh, be cool, have get, yeah, fun, get yeah. out of the garage or whatever, you know, whatever it is where it's like your house you? is dirty. Exactly. Like, and you're trying to find a room that doesn't look like shit shit, and looks nice for the lighting. And like, you're like, and all oh, you're man, doing I, is I, looking at yourself. Yes. I, I, it's all, you're all looking at your, worthless. you're looking at your own picture, making sure that you look good. You're not even looking at yeah, it. Just motherfucker. Just call me, dude. Just call, just call me. Just call. It's a phone. Yeah. But this, so when it happened, here's how I reconciled it was, I said, all right, these people are trying to call me clearly that they're, they're frustrated that they couldn't get a hold of me. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm busy as fuck. I mean, I host, I'm the, I'm the Seacrest of podcasts. We all know this. I do sure. a million of these goddamn things a week. Sure. I don't, I don't have that much time, right. let alone to FaceTime and then worry about what fucking room I'm in. And if all my shit is cleaned up, um, you know, do I need a hat? Where was I in the shower? Like all of this, like, I don't have yeah. time for that. Yeah call me first secondly I, I again they called me for a reason they clearly frustrated that i did not pick up and i kind of just chalked it up as all right cool i i'm i, I try to put myself in their shoes of like 
if there was something important I wanted to tell them and they didn't answer, maybe I'd be like, where the, f- where are you? Where the fuck are you doing right yeah, now? Yeah, you would, yeah. And that's the other thing too. So I, even, mo- I moved on from it. Yeah, well, even like friends, if you hear friends like talking shit behind your back, not horrible, but like a little bit, you really have to be like, well, I've said something about them probably. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, and yeah, it's yeah, not yeah. horrible. We just do that instinctively. If you do care about someone or you are close friends with them, you're going to see the good and the bad and take them all. And there you you have the facts of life, life. but you may like be out and just say something, you know what I mean? Depending on who you're talking to. So I like that you handled it in that way where it's like, I would have done it. I would have done that. Maybe. Yeah. I just, it's one of those things where (sighs) it's just usually I don't let things go, but in this case, as much as I rail on like privacy and you know, I don't feel like, I don't feel like anything we do currently in life isn't recorded or yes. voice picked up or any of that shit. Um, I, I, I feel like, you know, I just, I want some form of privacy back. The fact that Apple did this and they have this glitch and that all they're doing is promoting this fucking, we're the most protected information we're mm-hmm. private and all this other shit. That's a massive fuck up because for me, I was cool about it and kind of let it go, but that could ruin relationships and friendships. And I mean, I, a it lot of things, man. It made me think of like, you know, like we're talking sometimes and we like always check. Let me make sure yes, my phone yes. is off, right? So, and you find, about the, find out about the glitch after. So for me, you know, you enable your microphone on all these things. Yeah. And the glitch, the next glitch is going to be, oh, um, if you just called somebody, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you just called somebody and you hung up, that your microphone is still accessible by them, right? Yeah. Something crazy like that where you're yeah. like, fuck. I know. And it's like, sorry about the glitch, just ruined relationships. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. So, um, I don't know. Do, I, don't, I don't trust the phone anyways. Don't trust anything. We got these new fucking remote controls where you talk into it now, and that's the thing. You can't mm. like really search. You just have to type right. in, go to the Gossip Girl or whatever show you're watching. Right. Or me for Chuck Bass. Uh, he got me too. Um, but, uh, you know, when you have this many things that are now recording your voice There's over and over. Yeah. A lot, dude, the, the Alexa stories that, that are coming out every day are nightmares where now the machines are starting to talk back to them, totally. to the people where you're just like, <laughs> yeah. What are you doing, Brandon? You fuck. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, you're not watching porn it's again? Just a glitch. Sorry, yep. we'll shut it down. Like, okay, well. There was one guy who tried to smash it up like Groundhog's Day and the voice kept talking to him. Like, Oh, my God. Yeah, that, that whole thing. Cre- ah, it's creepy. It's crazy to me. And I, it's just getting worse and worse and worse. The, the other thing that I keep getting now is from every website, they want to know where you are. Enable location? Yeah. Why? Why the fuck do you need to know where I am, ESPN? Why do you need to know where I'm at for like a pottery company? You know, it's just mm-hmm. like, what, what do you fucking care where I'm at? Yeah. I don't understand that. What, where, where am I? And the other thing that, that Facebook's doing now is when I show up in all these cities, when I land, and because usually we put out a Facebook post of like, hey, we're doing a live show here, you know, yeah. and then you'll check it and kind of respond to people's questions of what time and place and all that stuff in case anybody, you know, can't, can't, can't find it or gets lost. Mm-hmm. Every city I land in now says, hi, welcome, like with Kansas City last week. Hi, welcome to Kansas City, Russ. <gasps> Would you like a list of your, your like favorite oh restaurants God. and travel things on Facebook? And oh it's just God. a thing and you can press it and you're like, yo, I just got off the plane and turned on my phone. Wow. This is what we're doing now. And I didn't enable that. Well, it's and, and a lot of these things, the well, here's the thing. They're just doing it for you. And then you find out and then you've got to go in and disable, and disable it. Disable it. Yeah. Good luck. I don't know dick all about my phone. I use three apps a century, you know, like, yeah, yeah, that's it. And the rest <laughs> of it, I'm just, is news. I don't really give a fuck about, you know? Yeah. Oof. <sighs> the whole thing, man. That's why I just don't use it. No. And look, one of my three apps is, is Instagram and I, I've pared my list down to people I follow, mm-hmm. and if I see one more post from a boring friend or their wives that say how wacky or goofy they are with a fucking photo of them doing something that is completely non wacky or goofy, I'm going to I'm gonna I'm gonna break into their Instagram live and hang myself 
for all of their friends to see and just be like, this is out of boredom of your own page. Yeah. Now you have something exciting to talk about. I just killed myself on your page. So. That's my biggest pet peeve is like uh, boring couples that call themselves just wacky and crazy. That's just us. Yeah. Accept us <laughs> for us. And they're just like sticking out their tongue. And you know, we have, we know a couple. Yeah. Boring as shit. Yeah. In real life, boring. Yeah. Like yeah they yeah. stick their tongue out in a, in a picture and they're wacky and goofy and crazy. I can't stand it. And it drives me crazy. I finally, this is terrible. I, I did comment on somebody's picture the other day. What'd you say? I just said, man, if this is the craziest you've gotten in your life, I feel bad for you. You should be committed to a psych ward. And, and like I said it in a way of like, oh, you know, like, like they're way off the deep end. You know? oh, like, oh, oh, hey, guys. Yeah. What? Put that tongue back in your mouth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You were going to be guys. held on a 5150, you crazy fuck. Oh, I mean, how how can we even hang out? And I they didn't, didn't know you were so goofy. They didn't know how to respond. They were like, oh, I ha, know. Ha. And then, uh, we you know, are. Uh, we really are. The winky faced emoji with the tongue out is my, mm. that's my worst, that's my worst fear in life is getting mm. that. Getting that. Is, is this. Oh, hey guys. Yeah. Craziness. I don't, I don't know Coca any crazy. one human I've met in my life who does, who, who does a winky face emoji face in real life. Yeah, that. Mm -hmm. do, do it again for the video show. There we go. Uh, yep. Never mm, seen yeah, you do that no. one time. No, I never would. <laughs> Um, cause I'm not wacky and crazy. <laughs> Listen, I want to see real wacky and crazy, right? Yeah. Like that's what I always want to say when show I show me wacky show and crazy. Me, I want to take think, it to the edge. You think that's wacky? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Tell, why don't you tell me the story about breaking his penis? Yeah. When you're riding side saddle. Yeah. That's a wacky side story. Saddle cowboy, reverse Sh cowboy on the show, couch. Show it with cowgirl. Um, cowboy would be tough unless it's two gay dudes. But then, then show, but then show a swipe it, swipe it. So you show the afterwards, like, oh, hey, he's on At top the of hospital, you. Hospital, yeah. And the hospital, and mm -hmm. his dick is is you know. And I want a thumbs in surgery. up. Surgery. Yep. I want a thumbs up from him and you, tongue out. Yeah. And uh, then his winky face. dick is wrapped in. It has a cast on it. Yeah. And that would warrant wacky and crazy. We're just so crazy. Yeah. Accept us for who we are. Exactly. I'd be fine with that. That's just us. Yeah. Or, or take a video of yourself uh, sawing off a goat leg mm -hmm. and then poking it into your partner while they're sleeping to wake them up mm -hmm. with this with this goat leg that was, you know, the goat is just killed maybe like 30 minutes ago. There's, yeah. there's blood on your white sheets. And yeah. you're like, Man, we're so crazy. Yeah. I just woke him up with a sawed off real goat leg, like the right leg of a goat. But like with the selfie, yeah. like the goat leg. Uh, Tongue out, a couple of goofballs. Yeah, that's take it or leave it. That's crazy. Take that's it wacky or leave to it. me. That's us. Yeah, just a couple of weirdos in in Florida with this weirdo, yeah. right? And they're just like, Meh. and they have like, I'm with stupid shirt, and that's their crazy night out. Yeah, don't show me that. Don't show, show me show that. Show me I'm with this weirdo on the t-shirt, and then when we pan over, show me that your partner's strangle baiting from a fucking doorknob. Yeah. You know, just really just uh, at the height <laughs> of it, just face as red as it could possibly get. Yeah. He's maybe 15 seconds from death, but he just came. Like, you've got to get that belt off the door. Date That's crazy. Night. Date night with this one. Yeah. Right? <laughs> oh, what's, what craziness is going to happen? I want to see you keying your own car outside your house and telling him someone else did it just to get him riled up and you know get a little drama so you guys can tell him it's an ex tell him it's an ex-boyfriend have him go out search for the ex kill him yeah then and come say, back and have you know dramatic sex because we're just a couple of goofballs <laughs> like that's weird right I want to see matching mug shots. I want to see. Do you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, yep. don't just stick your tongue out and tell boomerang. Bing, bing, bing. 100%. Yeah. Jumping I, in the air. We're crazy.
crazy. Yeah. I'll show you crazy. I'll show you crazy. You want to see fucking crazy? Yeah. Your partner's sleeping in bed. You find a jar of all their baby teeth and you glue them, super glue them in yeah. over their real yeah. teeth yeah. and then wake them up and be like, yeah, you have all your baby teeth again. That's fucking crazy. That's crazy. You fuck bag. You keep a bag of toenails. He keeps a bag of hair. Boom. Matching <laughs> crazy weirdos, right? Oh, we're just so kooky. Those are the rules now on Instagram. Okay. Don't tell me you're with goofball. Nope. Date night with this wacky whack. Yeah. I want to fucking see it for real. Same. Tell, you know. Push it to the edge. Push it to the edge. It's just so fuck. It really, really annoys me. Yeah. As if you couldn't tell from from that uh, 15 minute rant of, <laughs> of we're so crazy. We're so, we Sometimes we stick our tongues out. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Show me, a, show me you ripping the toilet out of your house in Chicago, placing it out in the street and then taking a shit in, in, in minus 50 degree weather. That's what I want to see. Crazy. Yeah. 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 The turd is frozen solid. Hold it up like you just got a fucking small trout out of a river. Like you're a bear. Hold it up yeah. with pride and be like, yeah, I'm fucking crazy. Right. I want to see, awesome. see the matching tattoos. His butthole tattooed on your arm. <laughs> your butthole tapped and just and you kind of like squeeze it a little bit and wink it. <laughs> We're just a couple of kooks. <laughs> That's what I want. Yeah. I want real craziness. That's what I need. Yeah. I need it really pushed to the edge. Otherwise. Otherwise, don't tell me you're wacky and kooky and crazy and a couple of goofballs. Yeah. Because you aren't. Get fucked. Get you're fucked. boring. Yeah. I you're can't boring. Stand it, dude. Can't if you're, stand if it. If your mom's out on the town and you all just jump up in the air at the same time, does it make you kooky and wacky and crazy? Okay. No. No. That's boring as fuck. Don't boomerang shots of, of fucking martini glasses and say Girls getting nuts. No, I'll show yeah. you girls getting nuts. Yeah. Okay? <laughs> I'll show you why girls don't getting you nuts. Guys, yeah, why don't you guys, you lost me in the fucking ditch <laughs> with my dress around my fucking head. <laughs> Scrapes everywhere. I still have the martini glass intact. <laughs> Cuckoo crazy night. <laughs> boomerang that shit <laughs> you're not crazy you're no. fucking boring yeah and that's okay but it's don't fine t- it's fine so uh, the reason why i brought this up oh, is sorry, i i had sorry. somebody unfollow me or or, or just uh, no i unfollowed them i'm sorry okay. I un- so i unfollowed them and then they they sent me a message of why did you unfollow me mm-hmm. and i just said look man i cannot look at 50 pictures of your kid and then right. one I'm a cra- I'm I'm crazy picture. I'm out. Yeah. Finally got out of the house. Using a Snapchat filter and then transferring that photo over to Instagram because you like that filter better mm-hmm. on your face. Mm-hmm. I can't I can't subscribe to. It. I'm happy that you're you get you're married and boring and all of that other Listen. shit. But I just can't fucking look at it every day and they were like, "What do you what do you look at?" you know? Like you're really funny. What do you look at? And I was like, ah, I look at like dark shit." Um, mm-hmm. you know, a, a lot of a lot of like he doesn't exist anymore. There was a count called showed where it was super dark. Oh like, yeah, I was wondering what happened to that. <laughs> gone. Gone, yeah. I bet. Yeah. Slut whisper, yeah, like that type yeah. of shit where it's just really like but I like pushing it to the edge type shit where sure. it's just like, all right, cool. Sure. And listen, that's why I don't post a lot. Like I was saying, I get in my head about shit that's boring because like most of life is boring. We've gotten into this place where your Instagram post doesn't have to be fucking anything anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It can be literally a picture of your hand on a glass yeah. and you're posting it. Why? I don't know. For who? I don't know. And, and you, I, th- I get too much in the head of like, you know, why is this person posting this? Like, what, <laughs> what, what were they thinking? Uh, what were they trying to achieve? I love the ones that they're making, trying to make the ex jealous. I love those kind of posts. Oh, yeah, because yeah, yeah, they yeah. really go all I'm out. I'm a big right? fan of those, yeah. Yeah, and you can tell. You can tell when someone's like they've just broken up and they've now started and they're they're posting a lot. Or if somebody's show- if somebody's married and they're divorced and then they post all these pictures of them doing amazing things with their kids and they're not yeah. there. Yes. Where it's just like, yeah, oh, yeah, just yeah. it's just us three. Yeah. I'm a single. That's when their Instagram gets interesting. <laughs> because they they have to impress somebody and there's some pressure behind it and it's not just mindlessly posting shit Oof. for no reason. Yeah. 
Um, again, I should post more. No, I'm, bas- I, I'm basically you, you shouldn't. You don't have to. Who gives a shit? You I have a you be. have a show. Who cares? I used to be in the ditch, and now I'm boring. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> and Instagram wasn't around then, so sorry you didn't get to see me actually being wacky. No. Now it would be a little bit boring. And if I do do something fun, if we go somewhere or whatever, sure I'll post. But then even then, I'm like, what am I doing? Why? Yeah. Who wants to see me fucking in front of some place in New York? Why? Yeah. Huh. It just I just want to know that you're, you're alive, you know, having fun somewhere in another city. You're not, you're not hostage underneath my, my realm, underneath my scepter, you know? Look for the messages in the, in the picture. <laughs> it's like H E L. <laughs> Look at my Instagram as a whole. You'll see. It's a hidden message. Help me. Help me. Help me. Help me. I'm locked in this. I'm locked in this wooden box all day with serial killers. I don't even like them. He put them up. No, I'm joking. Just to show me what would happen if I tried to escape. You'll never leave. <laughs> I'll find you. Yeah, exactly. Uh, people found Howard Schultz yesterday. Man, he announces he's going running for president. Boom. Next day, there's a book signing in New York. And of course, they came out in full force. Fuck you. Yeah. Fuck you. Welcome to the campaign trail, homeboy. Hey, buddy. Can Man. you handle it? Can you handle it? Yeah. What I love was uh, some of the hecklers, because it started immediately. He said about three words before they went all in on him. Mm-hmm. Um, some of the hecklers were saying this. You're going to destroy the Democratic Party. Because an independent vote is a, po- a vote to reelect Trump. Probably true. Probably true. Probably true. The other ones, though, and these are the ones I hate the most of, you're another fucking billionaire. That's, uh, that's what, what else do we need is another fucking billionaire in the White House. Why not? Dude's a self-made man. You know, like yeah. he did it himself. Parents were poor, grew up in a, in a fucking shitty environment, got the shit kicked out of him as a kid. Sure. He made himself a billionaire. Everyone should aspire to make themselves a billionaire. Yeah. That, that should be your aspiration as a child. Now, when, when, when do we get to the point where we look at these people and now just take a them. shit on them because they're rich? Like, I, look, if you're born into money, there's nothing you can do about that. You know? And, and chances are, if we were fucking crazy Trump rich, right, we'd give our kids a bunch of shit and be like, look, is it really worth working? Probably not. Oh, God. Probably not. Sad. Just, just make sure you, you get a Peloton. And <laughs> put it by the window, look out, work out the every day, and then you can go out and get trashed all day and do whatever it is you want to do. Uh, it's probably going to be a funner life. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Go to college because that's fun. You know, you just keep doing fun things go and then uh, and then move fun. on. But this guy didn't have that luxury. He made it himself. Granted, I, I don't I'm not a fan of Starbucks, but sure. I respect what he did in, the, in this company and all the shit. Same thing with uh, we're supposed to have this guy. Um, who's the like the porn king on Drinking Bros when we're out in LA? Okay. When we do the the live shows from LA. Okay. I don't I don't give a shit that you know I don't. It's not that I'm a fan of what he does. I'm like, oh man, crazy self made dude though. Made a fucking gajillion dollars out of it. So I fascinating to talk to and all that other shit. Totally. Like, I don't care what you did in this life to get there or, or what business it was. It, it is impressive to start from nothing and make a fucking huge massive fortune for yourself, no matter what. The other things that I find amazing are the, the, the people who make millions doing simplistic things. We talked about this the other day. Out of the most simplest things where you're like, oh, fuck. Dude perfect, man. Oh, right. Fucking God, dude perfect. Guys. You know? And look, I, I, I was unaware of dude perfect. I, I saw their early videos and I thought it was just a bunch of dudes throwing shit. And it looked like, you know, it was on a homemade camera or maybe or a phone. You know, one of those tiny fucking things where you're just like, all right, cool. Is that a GoPro? I guess. Yeah. yeah. I think it was GoPros in the beginning. Maybe. Yeah. I, I couldn't tell. And I was just like, all right, cool. I saw the first couple of videos. Didn't think anything about it for five, six years. Right. We have children. Boom. They're all watching fucking dude. Perfect all day long. Cause they don't swear. It's wholesome. And you're just watching trick shots and weird shit and all that <laughs> other shit. And the, like now these guys are grown up. It's like 10 years later. And you're like, Oh fuck. And I'm looking at their views and how much money they're making and all of this shit. And I'm like, man, you took something so simple that all of us men have done a million times in our lives and we probably continue to do throughout the day. If there's a basketball sitting somewhere, I'll chuck it over my head and be like, hey. Trying to get you in the the trash can. Kobe, yeah. Yeah, yeah. This is going in. These guys made a fucking multi-million dollar empire out of this. And 
it's impressive. I don't really give a impressive. shit that they're doing trick shots. Fuck. I'm even jealous they are. Imagine being what those guys look like. They're what, 35, 40 maybe somewhere? Yeah, there? I think they're 35, late late 30s maybe. Yeah. Married And, that, and that's kids. what they do for a living. Oh, they have this big, like now they have this big, like huge property and big warehouse, warehouse and all that and shit. Yeah, it's a fun house. And they're like. I mean, that's what they do every, they go into that office and just go, what kind of trick shot video can we do? Or what cool thing are we going to do with Nerf? Yeah. Um, and, and all these sponsors. celebrities are on it. Their sponsors are amazing. The celebrities the that are on it. The way that they do it, I don't feel like they're selling me something, which is crazy, but it's just interesting. I don't know. They're good. Yeah. So you can watch a hundred of these things. But it is so simple. It's, it's the slow most motion. The basic idea. Music. Yeah. Yeah. And that like that shit I like where it's just like, man, because, you know, there's something out there in the world that's just sitting around where you're like, you know what? Nobody's ever done this. Yeah. What's this thing that they haven't done? And that's what's impressive to me. The same with the Howard Schultz thing. It's just coffee, man. Like, why wasn't there a bunch of chain coffee across the United States? And how did you and being making it such a culture that I did pay. Five, six, six bucks for a seven dollars yeah. for <laughs> certain things, right? I know. And and it just seemed like, well, that's what you got to do. Yeah, you want a good cup. And really, the the fundamentals of it are uh, same with everything. And I think podcast and everything is like uh, consistency. Yes, consistency, good product. Not that we're always good, but listen, we try. Yeah. And so, but the same time every day, right? Like that that kind of thing and brainwashing people a little bit, which, yeah, we're, yeah, which we're not doing, but I think there was a, an element of that with Starbucks. Wasn't there subscribe on YouTube to Ross Patterson revolution. No, there is no brainwash. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What? yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, it just kind of flashes every frame. Um, <laughs> it, it, bl- it blinks <laughs> yeah, at you like, like you fight blink. club. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you're like, was it? Uh, yeah. Do I, um, don't you think with Starbucks, it was this like almost brainwashing cult, like, aspirational thing there their whole thing was like you know rich like rich smart people on their laptops drinking coffee How yeah you start hashtag rise and grind and all that before stuff. you go to your you know successful job yes. and how you the routine of it yeah the routine of it and it's look it's true like when, when whenever i travel to these cities i don't I, a lot of the times i don't have the luxury of black rifle on me or whatever so i gotta go there's usually starbucks in the hotel right like the kansas city in the lobby, there was a Starbucks in the lobby of my hotel. And I was just like, all right, great, man. I'm, I'm going to pay that six, you know, every morning. Like, I know it. Yeah. Because I'm getting a triple shot just to, just to wake her on up in and the morning. And they're like Chick- Chick-fil-A in that it's efficient. However, they've figured out their, their assembly line of it. Yeah. The ordering, the naming, the thing, like all of that. Yeah. Genius. Um, but it's all, you're right. It's all consistency that's the key to to everything product so you know that was i mean my dad ended up going to starbucks hated right because he would oh he always likes to eat local shop local all of that shit right because we're super hippies but if you i like that if if there's a local place that is if you're on your way to work and it's there you go in there correct and you're going to get a good cup of coffee in the same amount of time yeah then cool but it's the thing of local, which they don't have the resources, money or whatever. So you go in there, you're on your way to work and it's like someone, you know, they don't have your thing. They don't have the right product. The line's really long. Somebody messed up something and then it, it all just falls apart. And that will never happen at Starbucks, which is why, do you know what I mean? Right. And it's horrible that they would kill the local coffee shop next to it, but they were more consistent. Their product was better. Arr. What are you supposed to do? Arr. And they had the money to do it. So in a way, fuck you, right? Yeah. Because you had the money to do it. We didn't. Give us a chance. But that's just the way. I think yeah. that's just the answer. He was, my dad was just like, well, he was just different every time, like depending on who made it. I know. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. oh, you walk in, you see like the girl at the local place. Oh, she's here. She'll make it good. If it's not, it's like, oh, You're fuck. Fucked. And then it's going to take forever. And. Gosh, this sounds horrible. No, it doesn't. It's it's true, but you know, you know it's just true. It sucks. I, when, but when I saw this with with people, you know, 
heckling, showing up, and heckling, yelling, and all that and, yeah. shit. It's like, bro, are we there? We're we. I yeah. get we are. We are there. But like, yeah. as a as a community, and of course it was in New York. But um, it's it's one of those things where it's just like, dude, why? Like, why heckle a guy like that who did it on his own or whatever? And like, look, to run as an independent. If you look at the numbers for this, he is not going to win. Like, there is no chance for him to win. And then for a guy to, to not only be self-made after being poor, but then peel off three to five hundred million of his own money to run as an independent, knowing he's probably going to lose. Right. Fuck off, man, for heckling this guy. I, I don't. Again, I don't, I don't care who you voted for. I don't, I don't. But I don't subscribe to this stupid shit. Like, dude. That's somebody who's who's trying to do it and go for it and everything else. And good on him, man. I, I, we can't keep hurling fucking rocks at people for trying for the American dream or trying to do their best at something. We might not agree with whatever their politics are, but at least stop by and listen and don't be a fucking asshole. It's crazy. Yeah. It's crazy to me when I saw that. Uh, do we have a crime corner today? Ooh. We do. We do have a crime. You have a crime corner? I do. Crime corner. Crime corner. I do. Fire away. Okay. So, um, suspect thought he swiped opioids, but got laxatives instead. Okay. I could probably leave it there, right? No, no. Now listen. No, we're we're going to need to I'm go into this. I'm wondering, I, I want to know the motives. I know the motives of one, but the motive of the other. Did he hop the counter at some place? No, it was in someone's house, right? No. No? no Lockbox <laughs> at the victim's uh, Pinella Park home. So he went into the lockbox of a, of a person. Okay. And this person had his, it's a Florida man. Ah, Do I is. need to even say that it's a Florida when man? When you said Pinella, I think it's Pinella County. Um, that's, okay. that's probably where that's at in Florida. I know that county. Okay, so, my, P- so Peter my, Emery, oh, 56, okay. took pills from a lockbox at a victim's Pinella's Park uh, home Thursday morning. Okay. And um, the address, uh, okay, so his... His relationship with the 49-year-old victim that he stole this from is unknown. But this guy had laxatives in a pill bottle labeled hydrocodone. Why? Why Why are you... So it's more... So now when I get into it, then I'm like, but what what were you... Is this a trap? Was it a trap? Did he know... One, that somebody was trying to break in and steal his pills. Two, was he that protective of these laxatives that he was just like, man, if somebody steals these, I'm going to lose all of my shit. Literally. They're going to lose all their shit. They're going to lose all their shit. Like, I don't. Did you just have an empty hydrocodone bottle and you put laxatives in there? Strange. Again, like, yes, is this pre. Meditated where you go, That's if you're going to fucking steal about these. about Florida is right. you don't, there is, you're not going to get an answer for that, James. Nothing's going to make sense. <laughs> Nothing's going to make sense when it starts out with a Florida man, yeah. right? There's going to be a lot of, there's going to be more questions at the end than answers. But, um, so the, the cops, <laughs> the cops came, went to his house because this guy had him on camera as well, uh-huh. security camera. So then there's that. Like, you were trying to catch somebody, right? You have a security camera where your lockbox is, blah, blah, blah. How do you get into the lockbox? Whatever, whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so Emery, uh, th- he reportedly admitted to taking the pills because he thought they were hydrocodone, but then threw them away when he learned they were something else. Doesn't say how he learned. He might have just well, looked, looked probably, at them. He probably him. learned in the bathroom what they were, you know? I hope that's what it is, but really, if you are uh, an avid pill taker, yeah, you know what they look like. Okay. So he took the bottle, I'm sure, and then uh, took a little peeksy inside. But in my mind, I would like to know that he took a bunch of them and learned the hard way. I would really like to think of him learning the hard way. They they do not say if he did or not. But anyways. Uh, he got a felony charge by it be, because of it, by the way, because oh of all his priors. Ah. So think about going. Man, there's to, so much to digest here. 
pun intended. How? So yeah, it's a imagine, theft charge, but because of yeah, all his priors, it's yeah. felony. So you got a felony theft charge for taking laxatives. Laxatives. And it's a cruel joke, but it can Man. only happen in Florida. That's crazy. Sorry, but great, right? Yeah. I wonder what happens when you get taken. Like, was he taken into custody after taking them and then like, hey, because that would be the worst. I want to believe. But. That's, that would be the worst is if you took oh. them and then were chained to that bench for two hours before they process you. Or in the small room with other inmates in the oh, whole thing. Can you imagine mm. just mm. shitting your mm. brains out mm. in front of all your new sellies? Oh. Sellies. Mm. Man. Yeah. I hope. Because fuck you. Taking yeah. hydrocodone. Those are hard to come by. Yeah, they are. Do not take them from a 49-year-old man. <laughs> 49-year-old man needs some hydrocodone. I'll tell you that. Just for life. Oof. Just for moving around. Yeah. Just for getting around the world. But anyways. Fuck me. That's a hard one. That is a hard one. To... Can you imagine in jail? What are you, what are you in for? <laughs> Stole some laxatives. What? Ugh, stop, stop. That's what I'm here for. <laughs> that's what you, that's what I you like say. not notice you're <laughs> continuing to do it. And then it. That's what you say. That's, that's your you response say. for okay. what are you in for? Uh, oh, yeah. it's, the fa- it's the eye contact with me that's really making me uncomfortable. Yeah. You can only get this type of high quality content on YouTube sure. or iTunes on the video yep. show. Yep. I don't know if that's going to make them want to watch it or not. We will see. <laughs> Man, fart noises. It really, it, from it age four look- to 40, it really, it's just the same. It was the look on your face. <laughs> No, it's the eye contact and the not the long the pro, prolonged because you, I didn't quite notice seemed, it until it just no. kept going. You seem so shocked by it. Like, are it's, you, it's are a you little bit this? out of character for you to be honest. <laughs> to be honest. Not that you're highbrow, but we don't usually do fart noises. No, no, but this one. <laughs> but today's a special day, huh? Today's a special day. Just if you're sitting there, you know, how sure. do, what are you in for? And then. Yeah, and then yeah. And in his face. <laughs> yeah. Right in the person's face. Eye contact as well. Emery, <laughs> if you're watching in jail, which I'm sure you are, they give them YouTube, don't they? That's what you should do. And it really would freak the guy out. And I don't think, I think he would leave you alone after that. Oh my gosh, man. This is fun, isn't it? Sure. This is fun. This is life. We're having fun. Um, let's get to the revolutionary figure of the day, shall we? We shall, please. <laughs> uh, it's going to go out to Bryce Harper. There's a rumor going around right now. This is breaking news. You and I love Bryce Harper. We we got to see him up close and personal he's in the Cubs. Boss, and he's a boss. He's your boss, but he's a pimp. And uh, he's about to sign the highest... Uh, record-breaking contract in Major League Baseball history with the Phillies. He's going to go f- to go to Philadelphia, actually. I and going to Yankees. Uh, you know what's funny, man is is everybody started giving up on these high price contracts in baseball. I mean, we're today's January 29th. Mm. Spring training starts in two weeks. You've got to report in two weeks, right? The two biggest free agents out there were Bryce Harper and Manny Machado. No one signed them. And I, they dangled this number of $500 million, that Bryce Harper wanted $500 million for 10 years. Uh, the, the team he plays for, Washington Nationals, came back and said, no, we'll give you 300 for 10 years. And he said, no. That's what started this, so he became a free agent. I don't know what the number is yet because all, all of this is just coming in right now. Uh, they said it's, it's going to be a record for a contract. Uh, I imagine it'll probably end up in the 325 to 350 area mm-hmm. for Bryce Harper. Um, but, uh, man, that, that's, that's a lot of money for 10 years, hoping somebody doesn't get hurt for 10 years, ho- hoping somebody can stay around for 10 years and all of these deals that have gone down like this in history, a rod was the first to start this whole fucking juggernaut. Mm-hmm. Um, Ken Griffey jr. Ken, Griffey jr. Lived up to it. A rod got popped for steroids 80 times right. ended up missing a couple years. 
the Yankees fought him for money for years and years and years and years and years because he was under this $30 million a year contract forever. Right. With all of these bonuses and incentives, it went to trial and, you know, they finally settled on some form of number and then eventually bought him out and made him an advisor to the team. You remember that? Yeah. Where it was just like, that was a fucking mess. A lot of these contracts are fucking messes. Um, you know, you like look at that Ma- long, like Miguel geez. Cabrera for, uh, Detroit's um he's been great for years and years and years and years but now he's toward the end of his career and they're still going to owe him you know 25 million a year for the next two years where it's just like yeah he's not worth 25 million a year at this point so teams are hesitant and they're saying go fuck yourself we're going to get other players right I thought the Dodgers were actually going to sign him um oh, okay yeah because they traded half the half their their team away and somebody said in the office hey man I think we could use this money 35 million a year on four different players instead of one. And I, I frankly, to me, it makes sense. Yeah. I'm, I'm surprised that Philly dropped the hammer like this. It's a great sports city though. I mean, I've been there fucking three times this year for games. Um, so good for them. They're in the same division as the Braves, which sucks for me, but uh, it'll be fun to watch. I enjoy watching him play. And I'm, I'm curious to see what this number is now that this is breaking news, but it, it, it says here that it's going to be a, uh, an all time record. So we'll see, all we'll right. see what it is. Uh, Jesse, this was hilarious. I I laughed until I cried today. That's so good, isn't it? Yeah. Live your best life. Yeah. We're when just you, a couple of wacky, kooky. Yep. And when you open the door, there's going to be a new Peloton waiting for you. Oh my god! Not even close. Not oh. even close. For Jesse Wiseman, aka the Jables, I am Ross Patterson. Again, subscribe to the show, video show on YouTube. I'm trying to make that a thing this year trying to make it a big thing so come on down to the ross batterson revolution good night everyone good night